the great and unfortunately late Eddie Van Halen passed away yesterday. Some music from Van Halen, the rock and roll of my childhood. Spent 90 minutes yesterday smiling and listening on YouTube to old Van Halen. And I think a lot of guys my age did. Um, coolest guy in the coolest band for the longest time. Uh, Want to know what's really scary? Geico. It's Geico Ween. Get your insurance rates right now. Geico.com. See how much you could save on car insurance. Tristan Thompson has played for almost a decade in the NBA, and he got to four straight finals with LeBron, and he is nice, kind enough and nice enough to join us. So I was watching last night, and boy, LeBron and Anthony Davis and Rondo, all those veteran dudes down the stretch six minutes to go are playing like grown man defense, and their body language changed. And it is, it's so, this is why I love the NBA. When the, when the veteran guys, Rondo, you know, is not the same player he was six years ago, but he's playing real defense. And I want to ask you about LeBron, though. What is the difference between yeah. LeBron I watched last night and the LeBron you mm -hmm. played with? Is there a difference to you? I think LeBron now is is more skilled of a, of a player. I think, um, I would say more in Miami, I think his athleticism and his God-gifted ability and talent kind of separate him from everyone in the league. But I think right now, LeBron is just more skilled. You know, uh, he didn't really start shooting that shot until 2018 when we played against the Raptors where he hit like six of those. But I think LeBron now is just way more skilled. I think he shoots the ball from three much better. He handles the ball much better. And I think, Colin, you even remember, like, there was times where you know, he would give up some threes back in the day or, or, or turn up the ball over with just handling. So his ball handling is way better now, and he's really a point guard out there. Yeah, no, he really is. So he sent a text message uh, to the team yesterday before the game. I know it's not the first text message he's ever sent uh, to his teammates during a, a playoff series. Did he send one to you at one point? Yeah, we actually got a text message after uh, when we were down 3-1. Uh, in 2016 to go to state we, we won game three in Cleveland and then game four um, Steph Curry and Clay Thompson kept running that one-two pick and roll and literally we we weren't able to make the adjustment so we were down 3-1 and I think it was around like midnight 1230 LeBron sends a text message he says um, listen I know we're down 3-1 but if you don't believe we can win this series don't come on the plane the next morning because we had to fly to, um, to San Fran and um, sure enough myself and JR we used some words that are uh, definitely not kid-friendly, but we said, bleep, hell yeah, we're going to be there. We believe we can win. And uh, look what happened. Are you surprised at all? And I have been. My criticism all year has been, I know LeBron and AD are great, but I this is a lot of old guys, you know, past their prime, young guys, Kuzma, I don't owe us trust. But yet in this finals and in the conference finals, the role players, Rondo's defense last night I thought was sensational late. You know, he's just a dog in these big moments. Have you been surprised at all by the play of the role players in the conference and now NBA finals, Tristan? Honestly, Carl, I'm not surprised at all because this just makes me feel back when we were in Cleveland when, you know, whether it was K-Love missing games or Kyrie not playing in the when we played against the Bulls in Atlanta, in uh, 20, uh, actually 2015. So this is, I remember being KCP. I remember being Rondo, Markeith Morris, Kuzma. I remember being those guys that during the regular season or even beginning the playoffs, they would say, and Colin, you probably said it too, you know, LeBron has Kyrie if he's healthy or in K-Love, but you know, who from those other guys are gonna step up? Is it gonna be Tristan? Is it gonna be Shumpert? Is it gonna be JR, Della Vadova? So I remember being these guys, and I think you, give a, you gotta give a lot of credit to Frank Vogel and his staff. I know when I was in Cleveland, we had Phil Handy, who's assistant coach there, that would do all our skill development, where I feel like all year, these guys have been working on their skill, keep getting better. You got to give a lot of credit to the players, getting their individual work, because in the playoffs, teams are going to game plan for LeBron and AD. It's about who are the other guys that can step up and make big plays. And you saw last night, KCP was huge. If you remember, back in the beginning of the season, people were giving KCP hell. That's my guy. They're like... KCP shouldn't be there, get rid of him, why did we sign him, blah, blah, blah. But guess what? Those same people that are saying that now are like, you know what? Thank God for KCP. Yes, we signed him, made big plays for us. And, and that's what happens. Guys just work on their craft throughout the course of the season because there's going to be a point in time where their number is called and they have to make big plays. Yeah, I was one of those critical of KCP. I, I said he wasn't dependable, but I'll tell you what, he's one of these kids mm -hmm. He does not shy away from taking shots. If LeBron gets him the rock, 
He will take that shot. And, and, and let me say, a lot of guys shrink. I've seen good players, like A players, shrink. Mm -hmm. KCP yeah. he does not shrink. He takes the big shot he did last night. Uh, and Danny Green's a little hot yeah. and cold, but I did think Rondo's defense late was great. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? It was huge. Yeah. What do you think this will do for if they win? They still have a game. They have to win another. What will it do for mm -hmm. Anthony Davis's reputation if he has a title now? Yeah, um, I think, oh, me and you were talking about it uh, early in the playoffs where, you you know, if you looked at the Aaron question, AD's fourth quarter production. And I think for AD in this finals, I feel like it's the Braves because once you got these Braves going on, fourth quarter, he's, he's blocking shots, he's attacking the rim, he's showing everyone, he's proving all the naysayers wrong. And me watching last night, Honestly, it made me so happy. It felt like, it felt like I was, I was like, his cousin or someone in his family that you know, like, go out there and show everyone who you really are and what you can do because everyone questioned if he has it in the fourth quarter. Can he make plays? But look what he did. Took the challenge of guarding Jimmy Butler, getting blocked shots, making plays on defensive end, making big shots, a jab step three with you know under a minute left. Those are big time oh, player shots. Those yeah. are guys that are not afraid of the moment. So. Those are huge for AD, and I think it's going to change the whole narrative of how people view AD, and, and the, the kid's working. I'm, I'm so happy for him. Yeah, no, I think a lot of people are, because I think he's a really well-liked guy in the league, but he's had some injury issues. It, it's interesting. Let's say they win. Mm -hmm. Avery Bradley mm -hmm. uh, opted out. I, I don't think LeBron was overwhelmingly happy with that. I don't know what's going to happen going forward, but it's not a big free agent year. Um, it's not going to be a very yeah. good draft. Do you think, it, it, you know the way LeBron thinks. He's always tinkering. He's always tweaking. If they win the title, do you think we'll see the exact same Laker team next year? Will LeBron tinker a little bit? What do you think we'll see? What do you think he would need next year to be satisfied going into a season? Well, I think, you know, let's say they win. I think uh, if I was LeBron, uh, I think you look, at, you look at your roster and you look at what you're going to go against next year. Um, you know the guys in San Francisco, they got a number two pick. Yeah. Um, you know, they can trade it to get another dominant player. More than likely, they're going to try to get a big that can make plays but also play hard on both ends of the floor. So you know they're coming in with that, with Draymond Green, Steph Curry, and Clay. So you got to kind of look at your Laker roster and say, okay, how can we match up with, with this Golden State team? Yes, you know what, we give a lot of credit. To, you know, Clippers are great, but listen, you know, the Splash Brothers, the Splash Brothers, you got to kind of form your team where you're able to match up well against them. So I think for LeBron, you know, I feel like they have the right guards. And 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 Dwight Howard and JaVel McGee have done their part. I think if they're going to do any tweaks, it'll be very minor ones. I don't think it's going to be drastic where you're going to go in and grab a third star, especially with this with the cap and free. It's going to be tough, you know, because you're going to have to do a sign-in trade, so there's a lot of logistics. So I think for LeBron, it's how can we tweak a couple things, maybe get another playmaker with Rondo or maybe some shooting. But I think that's that's kind of the the room that they have. So who knows? But I think you got to form a team that can compete against the Golden State Warriors. That's good stuff. Uh, Tristan Thompson, nine years, four titles with LeBron. We're getting close to another one. Uh, it just it's it's remarkable. To LeBron's going to potentially win. Fifth head coach gets to the finals. Fifth head coach. You know what? You we only have a minute left. I thought Vogel was great in the last six minutes last night. Vogel basically said, LeBron, mm -hmm. you're the offense. Pick and roll it for six minutes. And that, and people may not love that. I thought Vogel had a good night last night. Your thoughts? No, Vogel was great last night. I think Vogel made the adjustments from game three. I think game three, Spolstra just threw some wrinkles in there that he wasn't prepared for. And I think that's part of being a great coach in our league where you can make adjustments game by game. You know, coaching, some coaches are stubborn. I played with some stubborn coaches who were like, just play harder, just play harder. No, you got to <laughs> make the adjustments. And Vogel realized, <laughs> Vogel realized, you know what? I'm going to go with my... My OG veterans, Rondo, I know you haven't scored, but I know you're creating plays by rebounding and running the offense. LeBron, you're the point guard, and you're going to make plays. And that's what it comes down to at the end of the day. When, when it's the last four minutes, it's, okay, put the ball in my best player's hands, the guys that I trust on the floor. Yes, Danny Green's been a starter this whole season, but guess what? I need Rondo in the game because of what he can do on both ends of the floor and create. And he made a big play. And that comes to coaching and believing in what works. So I give a lot of credit to Vogel. Vogel... I've always had a lot of respect for him, and, and I think people probably question the hiring, but listen, they're using their words right now. Yeah, great stuff, Tristan. I love having you on the show, buddy. Thanks again. No, thanks for having me. I love being on.
Thanks. Tristan Thompson. You know, it's interesting when you watch the game last night, like Vogel lets his assistants coach. Jason Kidd's over there, and he's tweaking with the players, and he's talking with the guy, and Vogel's nowhere to be seen. He's letting his assistants coach. But it, it is important, like Tristan said. There are coaches that are just play harder. And I thought with about seven minutes to go, I was going crazy on Twitter. I'm like, okay, LeBron and AD, LeBron needs to now, along with AD, touch the ball every time for the next seven minutes. I don't, nothing against Rondo. He shot some nice threes against Denver. This is not Denver. Big time moments are meant for big time players. Yeah, this is not Denver. This is the finals. Yes. You win this game, you're going to win a title. Like, this is not Denver. This is not, no, 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 no. I don't care what Rondo did against Denver. I don't want Rondo shooting threes. By the way, Rondo's a good rebounder, good defender. He got a layup at the end. He's not shooting threes. Like, th th this is, these are moments, these, these classic, like, biggest drive in the NFL. 17th, 18th hole in a major. You use the club you can trust. You call the play for the quarterback where he's best. And LeBron Vogel just said, next six and a half minutes, we're doing pick and rolls. You run the offense. And LeBron, 83 all, either scored or assisted on every bucket rest of the way. That's good coaching. Check it out, mdriveformen.com. Boost and burn healthy testosterone. Get lean. Walgreens has it too. mdriveformen.com, hour three next. <laughs>